Hi guys, it's Michael here. For this exercise, we're going to make a monthly budget planner. So this is what we're going to create. Um, as you can see, it's quite nice in the way that it's set out. We've got our monthly expenses first. We've got monthly income and then a summary of both and then a percentage of income spent and an area for notes. So, and as you can see down the bottom, we've got one for each month of the year. So that's what we're going to do. And then at the end, there's an expense summary as well, which goes through all the items and they all have formulas attached, as you can see. So let's have a quick look at how we do this. So first thing we need to do, we're going to make a copy of this. <clears throat> so roughly we're going to drag cell one down by just grabbing that little area there dragging the height of the cell, see if that's similar, very good. Number two cell or two row, it's a little bit shorter, so I'm going to squeeze that up a little bit, not much. Row three is, well we'll leave those as is because we'll probably change the font size to fit. So let's see, row B is uh, row A, sorry, column A is a lot narrower, so we squeeze that up, and column B is a lot wider, so we'll widen that. And they won't, those ones look very much the same. Uh, D is a lot narrower, so we come in here between the D and the E and make that a bit smaller. E is a lot wider, so we make that a bit wider, like so. F is normal, G is small, um, H is small, I is wide, so make that a bit bigger, and J is small. Right. Now that's done, we want to merge from B through to G. So we highlight B through to G, and we go up to our Merge Cells button, and we make that one big cell. Let's see what the font is. 72, Questrial, okay, well, let's see. 72, type that in. Have we got Questrial? Probably not, so we'll just type in font's probably okay. Because the font sits down low, I would much rather go up to vertical alignment and make that middle. See the difference? Um, yep, I don't really want that font. Have we got the other one? Maybe. If you want, if you're really into fonts, you can go into more fonts and find the very one you're after. Oh, that's awful. Let's quickly pick one more. That'll do. That's fine. And H through to J is merged as well. So let's do that. And what's the font size again? 60. 60 and centered. Right. Want to keep those fonts consistent. Pay tone. There we go. It's not great, but it'll do. Because it's a number, it's moved over to the right, so we'll just center that much better. And the color is a greeny color. So we skip that first column. And we're gonna let's go hmm. Whatever, pick a color. That green's fine, doesn't have to be exactly the same. Yep, so that's the first bit done. Skip a line and do monthly expenses. So we want to merge that. Yep, so merge those together. And what font is that? That's a 12 to Homer. 12 and to Homer. And we're going to write in monthly expenses. Oops, my light just went out. 
doesn't matter. I think we'll make that a little bit higher, a little bit wider. Again, we don't want the writing on the ground, so we'll we're on the on the bottom of the cell. So we just lift that up. That's fine. And we'll put some colour in there. Oh, terrible. Oh no, it's fine because we're just going to make the writing white. So there's a lot of formatting to do, and it's good to practice formatting um, in a spreadsheet just to get the look of things right. So just go ahead and um, fix up everything so that it looks just like this one here and then we need to look at formulas so first things first is getting everything looking right so that's the end of this video next video we will look at the formulas needed to make all this work okay good luck